Hey guys, Antonio here. Okay, so many of you guys have asked me, Antonio, where do I get inspiration from? You're looking around and you want to get ideas for outfits. You want to get out there and you want to start dressing better, but you want to know, you know, who can I look to? Guys, one of today's most, you know, just obvious people that you can be inspired by are celebrities. And we're not just talking uh, some of the people that uh, are notorious celebrities or ones that don't have style, but many of them actually, especially on the red carpet, these guys understand that they are in the limelight. They are under a microscope. They've got to dress well. So they bring in expert celebrity stylists, people that understand that how you present yourself to the world does send a message and that these people are going to get pictures. They're going to be up. They're going to get shared, you know, millions of views. And so they want to control their image. Today, I've got Ashley Western with me and Ashley is building her company and her brand. And she works with some of the, let's just say some of the most recognizable stars out there. So you see a lot of these guys looking good on the red carpet. That's because of what Ashley's doing. And she also has a video channel, a YouTube channel, which you should go check out. But Ashley and I were talking about this project. It's been a long time in the making. And so uh, without further ado, Ashley, let me uh, introduce you to my audience. Hi, guys. Hope everyone's well. So yeah, like Antonio said, thank you again for that warm welcome. Um, yeah, I'm a celebrity menswear stylist. So I style my clients for all of their appearances outside of their TV shows and films. So for red carpet appearances, premieres, daytime, nighttime talk shows, anything outside of their roles um, in films or TVs, that's what I uh, do with them. So. All right, guys, this is part of our celebrity style series. And today we're going to be profiling James Bond, specifically one of his outfits out of the movie Spectre. Now, I do want to point out that there is going to be a companion video. If you're interested in more casual dressing, you want to go check out Ashley's channel. I'm going to link to that video. And in that video, she's going to go into it. But what you're going to find in the celebrity style series is we're going to break out how the clothing works for the actor piece by piece and where you can go out and get these pieces to basically bring this look into your wardrobe. All right, so today I want to talk to you guys about James Bond style, but not in the way that most people think of it. I'm sure when you think of James Bond, you probably think of his amazing suits, right? So I wanted to actually talk about his casual outfits because I dress male celebrities for a living and I'm always on the lookout for really great casual outfits. And I have to say, I'm extremely impressed by Bond's choices in this area. So I wanted to show you one of my favorite outfits from Spectre that would look great on any man, regardless of his age or his body type. Um, I especially like this outfit because it's a nice middle ground between dressy and casual and I always find that it's there's not a lot of outfits in menswear that meet you know that really fall into this area so this outfit is great for date nights or for an occasion when a suit and tie would be too much so you'll definitely turn heads in this outfit because it's just it's so masculine and classy without overdoing it while a lot of Bond's outfits look amazing on camera. I will have to say they're not always ideal for wearing in real life. So there's some items that I decided to switch out for more practical and budget-friendly alternatives. Um, but I promise, Antonio, your guys will still look amazing. So shall we get into it? Let's do it. All right, so the black suede John Ravedo's jacket that Daniel Craig wears in Spectre looks freaking awesome but it's pretty impractical for everyday life. I've actually worked with this jacket before, as well as similar ones, and I have to say, they are a pain to own, unless you're willing to baby them. If you have ever worn a suede item, you know it's like stain city once any dirt, water, or food hits it. So it's pretty impractical, um, and God forbid, if you decide to sit on a light colored couch or chair, because like your dark wash jeans, the dye can actually rub on the light fabric. Instead of that jacket, you wanna go with a cotton bomber style one for two reasons. First, that fabric is way more practical than suede because it'll go not only with this outfit, but with any casual outfit. A suede jacket when paired with say a chino pant, will look very heavy because the fabric weights don't mesh well. 
Second, a bomber style will be flattering on all body types, especially if you are a shorter and broader guy. The more Harrington style jacket that Daniel Craig is wearing has a standing collar, so it'll accentuate a shorter neck. And so if you are a broader guy, that is not a good thing. On that note, if you are a broader guy, um, you want your jacket to fit pretty snug in your body to the point where you shouldn't be able to zip it up. You don't wanna zip up your jacket because it'll create this huge swath of fabric in your chest and stomach area, which will only make you look bigger and that's to be avoided. Um, the goal here is to break you up vertically and we do that by leaving your jacket unzipped. As for what's underneath the jacket, Daniel Craig is wearing a mock turtleneck sweater by N. Peel, but I would never sell my clients in this because it's way too specific of a look and highly dependent on the weather. Instead, I opted for a gray t-shirt because it's more practical year round and still lends itself nicely to the overall color palette we're working with. Now, if you want to dress down the outfit even further, I would go with a white t-shirt instead. If you don't know how your t-shirt should fit, check out this link. As for the pants, I put my model in these dark gray wool trousers, but you can easily switch them out for a pair of dark gray chinos or dark wash jeans. Check out this link for my favorite chinos and jeans. And lastly, the shoes. Mr. Bond is wearing some brown suede chukka boots by Sanders and Sanders, but just like with the suede jacket, it's not gonna take very long for them to get all gross and dirty. And I have to disagree with the use of the color brown in this outfit anyways, because even though they're dark brown, black shoes would look so much better here. So if you don't want to baby your suede chukka boots, this is probably one of the best outfits for some black Chelsea boots, which is what I put my model in. Now, if you're not a fan of Chelsea boots, then you can easily go with some black dress boots or black Oxford or monk's dress shoes <laughs> instead. So here is the final head to toe look on my model. Check out the link for outfit details and items that'll fit any budget. All right, Antonio, I really wanna hear your thoughts about this outfit, so let me get back to my desk. All right, so I wanted to see what your thoughts were on this outfit and what you th your thoughts are on suede items because I mean, you could see I'm not the biggest fan in terms of its practicality for everyday life. So very curious about your thoughts. Yeah, you know, suede is one of those, it, it's a bit harder to find, especially in that particular cut, in that particular color. So I like that you show that, hey, you don't have to necessarily go with the exact fabric. And it's also going to save a lot of guys out there who are really budget conscious. It's going to save them a lot of money when they know that they can substitute things. But I think the key with this outfit is to realize that no one is going to say, you know what, you're, cut, you're, you're stealing that look from James Bond Inspector. All they're going to say is, you, wow, this looks great. And I think that's one of the keys of imitation. And what we're going to talk about here is that when you look at the best and artists do this all the time, they go out there and they study the masters and they imitate them at first and then they take it in their own direction. So getting back to that, you know, you switching out the suede with all of the outfits we're going to cover in this men's style series. Remember, you can make it your own by changing out, making small substitutes here or there, depending on your budget, depending on you know the weather, depending on what you've got available to you. Exactly, I agree. And then in terms of, I know we were talking about the entire outfit, I decided to switch out the turtleneck for a t-shirt just because, I mean, do you recommend turtlenecks to your audience? I just, I never find it very flattering on the majority of men. Yeah, but you also <laughs> live in California, right? Oh, that is true. Yeah, see, I live in Wisconsin and our summers are about 65 degrees, okay. negative, uh, negative 30 degrees during the winter. So a turtleneck is very practical here. And I think that's, you know, the fun part about this. When you realize you can change things in and out, create a very different outfit, but one that also meets your personal needs. All right, guys, so that's it for our celebrity style series on this channel. If you want more information, especially James Bond related casual style, 
go check out Ashley's channel. I'm going to link to it right here in the video. And what you'll find is that in that one we talk about, I think it's Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace, that this outfit, you know, very similar one popped up. It's going to be very similar to the video we just did here. And for the future of this series, we have more videos coming. A hint for one of the videos, it's probably one of Antonio's favorite TV shows. So that's the only only little tidbit of info I'm going to give on this one. <laughs> yeah, but it's not Game of Thrones, although I think that that may be something in the future that we have to, we have to Re talk about. Recreate what happens. <laughs> How to bring this into your everyday life. <laughs> exactly. You know. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for having me, Antonio. I had a lot of fun with this one. And You're welcome, And excited Ashley. for the next one. All right. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.